We're along the main highway right now that leads out of Bangkok. Now, what happened is that the red shirts put together a fairly sizable convoy. They were headed out this morning along the highway trying to reach a market where yesterday there were some clashes between the red shirts and the armed forces. What has happened is that now along this entire highway, we have multiple standoff points. We have riot police that have blocked off entire sections trying to prevent red shirt supporters from reaching that main convoy. Earlier, we had um, some of the uh, military shooting rubber bullets trying to disperse the convoy. They also fired live ammunition into the air. Now, at the main standoff point, which is where we are right now, we just heard one of the uh, military officers ordering his men to stand at their ground. They had received reports that the red shirts who they managed to disperse earlier, just a few hours ago, were regrouping and were going to try to break through their ranks. Now, the government has authorized use of force. The rules of engagement are that if, quote-unquote, attackers come within 100 meters of the armed forces, they can use tear gas. If they come within 30 meters, they are authorized to use live ammunition. Now, this move by the Red Shirts is being viewed as very provocative, also to a certain degree, a test as to whether or not the armed forces will, in fact, escalate this ongoing conflict if they will, in fact, use force once again. Oh, well, how close are you actually to this? Uh, I understand that you've also been moved back? Um, we are actually right along one of the uh, main front lines here. Right in front of us, uh, we can see rows upon rows of riot police. We can see some of them armed with uh, guns with rubber bullets. Further down the road, we have uh, the military. They also are armed with guns with rubber bullets. They also have uh, live ammunition with them as well. There is also another chunk of the road not too far away from where we are where the military has set up a front line. So what you have along this entire highway is multiple front lines, multiple um, opportunities for this situation here to really escalate even further. It's fairly tense along these points because the red shirts and the armed troops um, can see each other and the armed forces were able to see the red shirts regrouping. They're around maybe a kilometer down the road right now from where we're standing, but everyone is really gearing up, expecting the situation to escalate. But of course, the um, authorities here, the armed forces, are going to want to try to avoid um, use of their weapons. They do not want to be put into a situation where they have to target their own citizens. At one of the other um, standoff points that we were at just a few moments ago, the military was on the loudspeakers basically imploring the red shirt demonstrators to break up, to go back home. The red shirts, though, were just sitting down on the ground on this major highway and refusing to budge.